Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Arizona with the uh, dumbass Elmo and Heather Ray TV as they annoy the patrons of a post office and, well, dumbass Elmo almost uh, gets uh, socked twice in one video. Oh, man, uh, the guy has no respect for anybody at all. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Are you on your break? Because if you're at the post office on your break, it's okay. But if you're at work, then we got a problem. So you, yeah. We got a problem, Houston. Yeah, when you sign my paycheck, let me know. We actually do. We do. Actually, we do. We this do. guy doesn't even know who he works for. Guys, he doesn't know that the police... Hey, that the police. Why don't you shut up why don't you, and go out that door? Why don't you make me old loser? You know, make you me. are the loser. Oh, please. Make me. Yeah. So, once again, so, Same. quit Same. messing with him. Leave him alone. Shut your mouth, old no, loser. No, I will not. Shut your mouth. I can talk as much as you Shut talk. your mouth. I will not. Shut your mouth. Stop right now. I right now. You, Chill out. Right, right you now. Are uh, you're calling him a loser, dumbass Elmo? Let's talk about your criminal record, shall we? Uh, you're the one who has uh, uh, been charged with... Uh, well, kidnapping in the past, two counts of kidnapping, in fact, and uh, a whole other list of felonies, dude. So you want to talk about being a loser? You are the king of losers right there, dude. And as far as Heather Ray TV goes, uh, you could have made better choices yourself, but you decided to hang around with this pathetic little loser himself, so... That kind of rubs off on you, too. I mean, that would make you pretty much a loser, too. Idiots. Uh, actually, get out that door. You're, be you're causing a disturbance, actually. No, you are. Hey, sir. Okay. There's, no, a, there, <laughs> there's, a, there's a crime so being committed. You, you want to handle this? It's federal. I can't do anything. Oh, you're good. At least you know that. Yeah. At least you know that. What's oh, the man. matter with the rest of you people here? What is the matter? You, what's the matter? Say something that what's, what's the matter? Brother... Yo, my bro over here wants no part of this. My my bro over here wants no part of this. He wants no part of this. Actually, actually, we're raised we're raised properly, and we don't get involved in shit that don't that don't involve uh, that has nothing to do with us. You're taking my picture. It's sure am. No, you're ridiculous. You're screaming at us without even knowing us. And this officer is a disgrace to his job. He's supposed to be he's supposed to standing up for freedom. He is right though. He's on federal property. He has no jurisdiction here. It doesn't matter. He's he he's not. He can be on lunch break. You're right. I'm not. I'm going. I'm done with my day. All right. That's All right. good. You're done for the day. Well, considering that the officer uh, was off duty and really didn't feel like dealing with dumbass Elmo right here, I guess he just uh well just joked around with ass Elmo about this being a federal issue because you know. Uh, local officers can intervene in uh, the post office if they are called upon. And, dumbass Elmo, it is listed under the enforcement clause of Poster 7 if you have even read the entire thing at all. Which I know you haven't because, well, you've only read one half of a paragraph. So, yeah, I know you really haven't uh, taken the time to read the entire thing. You should be done for your for for for, for the rest of your life because you can't deal yeah, with the public. I agree. Yeah, I do. What do you think? I agree. You agree, right? One hundred percent. Oh, you yes. see, standing up for freedom, something's that uh, something that you don't do. You know. You currently are loitering. Shut your mouth. You are loitering. I'm not. You're not doing business here. I am. You are loitering. I'm not loitering. I'm in. I'm. You are loitering. I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. You don't. What's the First no, Amendment? All right. So tell me. All right. So tell me who wrote the Constitution, and I'll leave. Have a good day. You too. No, I will. Don't kick your dog today. All right. Awesome. 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 So, so, sir, you're American, right? Learn about our rights, bro. This is the United States. The the First Amendment says we have freedom of the press. You can we go can. To China if you don't like it. Go to China if you don't like it. Bro, you're the one screaming. You're the one screaming at people here. No one's screaming at you, dog. I, did anybody walk in here disrespecting anybody? Did anybody walk in 
disrespecting anybody? Uh, yeah, you did, dumbass Elmo. But of course, in your little world, you don't count as the one who does the disrespecting. But if anybody talks to you in any manner other than kissing your little ass, it is disrespect. Yeah, if they don't bow down, lick your boots, kiss your ass, and kiss your ring, then, well, they're disrespecting you, and they deserve to be punished in your mind. But sorry, dumbass Elmo, the world does not revolve around you. The world is not here for you. And when you pass away in the next 50-so years or something like that, well, the world really won't know who you are. You're that much of a speck on it. No. And why are you bothering No, me? no, only, bothering only a guy like you, only a guy like you will come and interfere with our freedoms. I'm not interfering with your freedom. I'm yeah, you are. You're, you, you guys are just creating trouble. Bro, you're why? the one screaming at the post office. <laughs> can you you're literally can, just standing there and can, can, out. can you believe this, bro? You suck. Look at this guy. Oh, no. right here. oh, now he's Fuck doing exactly what he said I was doing. I was wrong for yeah, doing. Doesn't like it so much, does he? Uh, it's your First Amendment. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. You actually have the right I'm to. I'm not do exactly it. sure why you guys. I know my rights, but I know. So my, what's my what what right. is the First Amendment then? But I don't need you to. What is? I need you to come in here and film me. What is the First Amendment? This guy has nothing better to do than to be a Darren. A Darren. Okay. Yeah. Sir, you're you're, you're a Karen. I'm a Karen. Yeah, yeah dumbass Elmo certainly is a Karen, isn't he? I mean, he likes to take things way out of proportion and uh, scream at people for no reason. So yeah, pretty much a Karen at the very basic core. And he's going to prove it some more by going after the guy's wife. What kind of man are you, dumbass Elmo? Oh wait, you're not a man at all. You're not even a woman. You're just, well, I don't know what you are, but you're certainly not human. <laughs> no, Karen's right behind you, sir. Don't, don't talk about my wife like that. You're well, okay, okay, okay. Don't talk about my wife like that. Okay, like Barbara. That. Barbara. Barbara. Sir? Sorry, right, what? Don't talk about my wife like that. I'll put this down. Don't talk about my wife. What are you going to do? I'll kick your ass. That's what I'll do. Why don't you go ahead and do it? Go ahead. That's right. You know what? He's going to threaten my wife. Yeah. That's a threat. That's a threat. You just broke the law. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I have free speech. You. Remember? First Amendment. That's a threat. No, you See? made a threat. That's a threat. No, that's See? the First Amendment, oh, actually. Exactly. First and you have 23,000 people First watching First you right now. Buddy. You have 23,000 people watching you right now, yeah, loser. 23,000 people watching you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Get out. Dumbass Elmo seems to have this obsession with numbers of people watching his content at a given time. I mean, come on now, dude, we know that those lot of your videos are not live, that they're not watching at that particular time, so you need to stop with your lying, dude. But hey, that's the only thing he's got going for him at this particular time, because, well, people will lie, and people will believe him, and won't bother to fact-check him or anything like that. No, they're perfectly content to just eat this stuff up, rather than uh, thinking for themselves. You're a bully. You're a bully. I'm a bully? Yeah, you are. I'm a bully. Yeah, you are. Okay, I'm a bully. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I hope 23,000 people do watch this and learn from you. No, they're, yeah, yeah, they're going to learn a lot yeah. from me. Yes, you're absolutely right about that. First Amendment. So there you Free go. Are you, are you military? Free speech. What's the Third Amendment then? Free speech. What about the Third Amendment? Don't even engage him anymore. Let it go. Let it go. What's the Third Amendment? <laughs> this guy's talking about kicking my ass. <laughs> You're gonna do you nothing. Fuck you to me. Have a good day. You, I, right after you threatened to kick my ass. Yes. I called her a Karen. I called her a Karen. And I called you a Darren. Yeah. And I called you a Karen. Go away. Just go. Am I a Karen? Go. Am I a Karen? You guys were the ones that started arguing. Well, maybe being at the post office is not the first, the place to go. Maybe it's not for you to go. Take your advice. Hey, listen, do yourself a favor. Go start a studio and film everybody you want. I have a studio. I have a studio. Then go ask people to come to your studio. And talk there's, nothing up, there's nothing better than to be respectful to each other, but you don't know anything about that. Hey, listen, dumbass Elmo. Uh, respect is a two-way street. You give respect, you get respect. If you're not going to give any respect, uh, dumbass Elmo, then I sure as hell won't give you any respect. I mean, if you're going to walk into a place like this and, uh, 
will stick your camera where it doesn't belong, such as filming transactions of other people. Yeah, I saw that. You were filming that officer's transactions, which is against post office regulations, dude. Then you don't deserve any respect in return, dude, because, well, yeah, I wouldn't want to be uh, around somebody like you who would potentially uh, steal my uh, information and steal money out of my bank account. That's what you did. You can't just film people. Yes, I can. Damn. People in America don't know about our rights. They're going to learn the tough way. And, well, there you go right there. That's definitely his mission statement. He is going to force his values, his beliefs on everybody else. It's not about everybody else's rights. It's only about his rights. His rights to do whatever the hell he freaking wants to you. I mean, think about it. This guy has a rather lengthy criminal history and was charged twice with kidnapping. Although, in one particular case, the charges were dropped because the girlfriend didn't want to pursue it because she was terrified. So, yeah, you can think about that. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?